This video documents my longest motorcycle traveling trip to date. 18 days, two countries, two provinces, five states, 3,500 miles. Come along and see where this adventure leads. Motorcycle. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to get outside the matrix every chance I get. Sometimes it takes 10 miles into my adventure, sometimes it takes 50 or 100. But I think it's very, very important that we get outside, cross some borders, maybe a state line or a country line. Got to get off the couch and push through our personal comfort zone, making Oh, I've got a hundred miles until I can set up camp. Be your biggest worry on your mind. Say to hell with excuses. Let's go, baby. So when we first went to Idaho to race our dirt bikes, I remember stopping at this place. It's a little campground and uh, burgers and pizza. <clears throat> Cash check. Uh, we'll be going back to Walmart, coming back, I don't know. Well, everything's full. Uh, Boy Scouts of America trailer here. Doesn't look like a truck's been here for a while. So this is going to be our spot tonight. I'm super duper tired. Perfect. And after managing to kill my bike in just about the perfect spot, it was time to set up camp. So found a flat-ish spot, set up the tent, threw in the sleeping bag and all the stuff that I needed to sleep. And then it was time for my midnight dinner. night in the new Big Agnes and uh, we're gonna get out and see where I ended up. I get a little grief from people about pulling into camp dark. Long story aside, one of the glorious things sometimes about finding your camp in the dark is you wake up and realize that behind that tree is a river and you're camping right on the river. Pretty cool find, especially for on accident. Well, it's noon and I'm gonna head into Washington State. Leave my lakefront, riverfront property for the night. 10 hours away from my destination. It's almost one o'clock and I gotta be there by 10 a.m. tomorrow or no tire. Into the sand, into the gravel. 
Whew. And away we go. Let's get the wind on us, baby. So day two was pretty uneventful. Saw some interesting things. And then uh, had to break out the Moscow Moto Pinner Tool Roll. This foot peg over here was loose, as well as this mirror. It kept loosening up and would slide in. This just tightens down. Got it tight as I can, and it seems to be holding right now. Guess that's why I carry tools. Probably the highlight of the day was this wrong turn I took off the freeway and had to turn around into the sunset by this beautiful river. And then got to the campsite only to find out there was some bad news. Let's recap day two. So got a late start because I enjoyed the camp. Got my first solo camp for a while. Put in, I don't know, 300 miles. And I pushed an extra 80 miles to get to a KOA only to get there and see this sign. Yeah, no tents. By now it's midnight, one o'clock, I don't know. All the hotels are full, 250 bucks a night, blah, blah, blah. Fine, fine, there's hotel six, 90 bucks. Wasn't in the plan or the budget. But I'm on the top floor and I carry all my gear off the bike up and the stairs are way away from the room. That was the last room available. I packed two up. My wife's going to meet me after the rally, but we've got too much. I'm supposed to meet Paul at Boogie and get a new rear tire, but I'm contemplating just going to the rally at this point. I'm wiped out, and that's uh, five hours, well, four hours to the shop, and then another three or four from the shop to the rally. So, Stay tuned to see how day three goes.